Well, hello, hello, and welcome. If you're new here, my name is Angela. I am a board certified trichologist, which means that I know everything when it comes to the science, diseases, and structure of both hair and scalp. I am a product research junkie, and if everything goes as planned, a cosmetic scientist to be. So welcome. Today, I am doing a video that actually has nothing to do with hair and scalp, but it has to do with skin. So if you're wondering what I'm talking about and what I am about to do in two days, then most definitely keep on watching. Okay, so let's start at the beginning. If you're following me on Instagram, and if you're not, then this is the sign to do so. I have two tattoos. And no, they're not super big. I actually have, well, one quite bigger one and a small one. Um, one that I got when I was about 18, 19. Um, they're both quotes or written tattoos. I got that done at my back, uh, on my ribs, I would say, on my ribs, yeah. And I got another one done together with both my brother and sister. And that is a tattoo that's handwritten by my mom. Um, it's a very small, delicate, beautiful one. That is actually not the one that I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk about the tattoo that I got 10 years ago. Okay. 10 years ago, I got a tattoo and I got it done because, well, long story short, I'm not gonna like dive into it, but someone who was very important for me passed away and that quote reminded me of that person and meaning wise i'm still behind that i still actually like what's on there but what i've been noticing for the past two three years is that you're not really able to read what it says anymore it kind of bleed it out i also noticed that there's a little bit of like you can actually feel the tattoo there's some thickening in that area and it really made me do some research of what can cause it or what causes it and the options of what I can do about it because it really bothered me that from afar you you cannot read it anyways doesn't matter what was put on but you wouldn't notice it but when you are up close when I show my tattoo a lot of people have a hard time reading what it actually says which is very annoying to me personally. So I did my research and I found out that there are two options for me at least, or at least what I find realistic. Number one is to get it re-inked again. So let a tattoo artist tattoo the same thing at the same place to kind of make the letters appear better and to reduce, like it will still have that bleeding out, but it's the same as you know, rewriting it with your pen, but that also makes it look thicker. And there's a chance that you will scar more because you're putting pigment on pigment and like whatever you do tattoo wise, if you tattoo something, you're scarring your skin for it to absorb the ink and make it stay. That was option one. Option two, is to get it lasered and that's actually the reason why I'm filming this because I decided to get it lasered. Now there are like two obvious things that cost like what the tattoo looks like right now and the number one thing is how it heals and that depends on the person, the area, how you ca take care of it and you know sometimes just genetics because it's still, like I said, a scar that you're making and everybody reacts different during different times and different moments in your life. For me, I have hyperpigmentation. I know that scarring, like the chances of me ending up with a scar are maybe higher than average. So it's always a chance that that happens. Now, the second thing could be that your tattoo artist has tattooed too deeply which caused that buildup and extra extra scarring so those are the two ones which one it is i honestly wouldn't know because it's been such a long time ago and i think it's more apparent now since the tattoo is kind of bleeding out so 
that's actually the number one thing that annoys me like the scarring I'm not annoyed by it because it's very minimal but um, like it not being readable anymore that's the number one thing that's that annoys me so right now I'll insert a video clip of the tattoo that I'm talking about as you can see it's very difficult to read what it says and if I stretch it then you can also see that on certain places it's really like there's no ink it's very weird and you can also see that little bit of like bumpiness that build up that texture that I was talking about and that's basically scarring. The reason why I'm making this video is because it's actually I haven't really seen very recent videos of people of color getting their tattoos removed. Now it's very well known that it's more difficult to achieve that and in some cases impossible to do due to our melanin production and it working backwards into getting hyperpigmentation or getting pigment loss, um, scarring, etc., etc., in comparison to uh, white skin. Now, I did my research and I ended up at Fine Laser Clinic. The Fine Laser Clinic is actually the same clinic where I got my laser hair removal and I'm very happy with the results that I got from them because they are actually also specialized in darker skin but not only that they really build up the intensity instead of risking bad things to happen to my skin just to get a quick fix of hair removal so yes it took me more sessions to get rid of my hair for at least 80 percent but they did it in a safe way where I was able to keep the integrity of my skin, don't have any like burning or anything like that and have really great results. So I contacted the owner, Stephanie, and we had an hour long conversation and that's what I love so much about them. She was like, call me, we need to talk about this. And instead of only sharing the good, she mostly let me know the risks and shares the bad and the ugly, which is what I really appreciate because I want a very realistic view of what I'm about to do and if it is possible and if so, at what cost. So I had to send her a picture of my tattoo in daylight so she could see what was going on and she already saw that yes in certain areas your tattoo is thickened which means that they're scarring um long story short she told me because i asked her are you able to remove this tattoo the answer is yes but it's gonna take you longer than with white skin and you're gonna keep that bumpiness um, of scarring but then without the ink pigment if that makes sense she said it's gonna take at least a year and a half to two years to get it completely removed think about it I give you a week let it sink in if you have any other questions let me know and yeah I'll talk to you in a in about a week and I called her two weeks later because I really had to think it through I was like okay I'm 29 does it bother me that much uh, or can I live with it it's not that I'm like insecure while showing it but I just find it annoying and I used to really love to show off that tattoo and really buy clothes to show it but now I don't really do that as much anymore because I just don't like the way that it looks right now I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna document it because I really wanna show like recent footage of what laser tattoo removal looks like on darker skin tones. Now I do realize, first off, this is my winter color, but I'm not that dark. Um, but I really want to give an idea of how it, the process could be and share the good, the bad, and the ugly. Also to document it myself because I'm just very curious on how it will go. It's Monday today. I'm going to go on Wednesday and I'm going to film everything and also ask her all the questions that cross my mind and film that process. So what I'm planning on doing is, this is going to be the first video as an introduction. And in about two months, I'll have a new video where I will share with you the process. But not only that, I'll also share the aftercare because I need to do a treatment once every two months. The session itself is like 30 minutes, but 
the aftermath, the aftercare is maybe even more important. And that takes about two months before getting a new session. So I think I'll do an update once every two months kind of to give you an idea and to share with you how this whole process goes. I'm kind of nervous, but I'm also kind of very excited because I just also find it very interesting that certain technology can actually remove something that is supposed to be permanent. And I'm very curious to see what it will look like afterwards. I'm going in with you know worst case scenario it looking horrible but I do have the confidence that it will all result into getting the ink fully removed and just curious to see what's ending up underneath it so yeah that's the video that's the semi announcement in this tattoo removal series I still need to like find a cute name of it so if you know a name how we should call this series let me know down below also if you're not subscribed yet this is the opportunity to do so because then if you put on the notification then you'll get a notification each and every single update video i make so yeah that's it i hope you're doing well please stay safe and i will see you in the next video